Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the mass needed for a given number of moles of a compound. In the last video we saw that we can calculate the number of moles of a compound in a given mass by using this equation. The number of moles equals the mass in grams divided by the relative formula mass. In this video we're going to see how to calculate the mass needed for a given number of moles. Here's a sample question. Calculate the mass of 4 moles of sodium chloride and sodium chloride has the formula NaCl. In order to calculate this we need to rearrange the equation to calculate mass and here it is. The mass in grams equals the number of moles multiplied by the relative formula mass. So let's look at how we answer the question. First we need to calculate the relative formula mass of sodium chloride. We've got one atom of sodium and the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23. We've also got one atom of chlorine and the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. Adding these together gives us a relative formula mass of 58.5 for sodium chloride. So now we can go back to our equation and answer the question. The mass in grams is the number of moles multiplied by the relative formula mass. So we've got 4 moles multiplied by 58.5. This gives us a total mass of sodium chloride of 234 grams. Here's a question for you to try. Calculate the mass of 3 moles of potassium oxide. The formula of potassium oxide is K2O and I've given you the relative atomic masses that you need. You should pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we need to work out the relative formula mass for potassium oxide. We've got two atoms of potassium and potassium has a relative atomic mass of 39. We've got one atom of oxygen and oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. Adding these together gives us a relative formula mass of 94. So now we can go back to our equation. We've got to calculate the mass of 3 moles of potassium oxide. So we multiply the number of moles by the relative formula mass and this gives us a final mass of 282 grams. Here's another question for you to try. Calculate the mass of 0.1 moles of cesium nitrate. Cesium nitrate has the formula CSNO3. I've given you the relative atomic masses that you need, so pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, so first we'll work out the relative formula mass of cesium nitrate. We've got one cesium atom, and cesium has a relative atomic mass of 133. We've got one nitrogen atom, and nitrogen has a relative atomic mass of 14. Finally, we've got three oxygen atoms, and oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. Adding all of these together gives us a relative formula mass for cesium nitrate of 195. Going back to our equation, we can now calculate the mass of 0.1 moles of cesium nitrate. So the mass is the number of moles multiplied by the relative formula mass. Multiplying 0.1 by 195 gives us a mass of 19.5 grams, and that's our final answer. Okay, here's one final question for you to try. Calculate the mass of 5 moles of copper sulfate. The formula of copper sulfate is CuSO4, and I've given you all of the relative atomic masses that you need. You should pause the video now and work this out for yourself. Okay, we'll start by working out the relative formula mass for copper sulfate. We've got one atom of copper, and copper has a relative atomic mass of 63.5. We've got one sulfur atom, and sulfur has a relative atomic mass of 32. And finally, we've got four oxygen atoms and oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. Adding these together gives us a relative formula mass for copper sulfate of 159.5. Going back to the equation to calculate the mass, we multiply the number of moles by the relative formula mass. This gives us a final mass of copper sulfate of 797.5 grams. You'll find plenty more questions on calculating the mass of a given number of moles in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to calculate the mass needed for a given number of moles of a compound.